If it's Friday, it's time for our mystery guest. Drum roll, please. I have no idea who this is. And our mystery guest is... Tyrus. Oh, my God. It's Tyrus. Oh, my God. Did, was this the right? Oh, this my right? God. Yes. One of the... Big dog, how are you doing? Is. I just what you it better is. I love you so much. You're the best. One of the viewers... Go ahead. One of the viewers guessed who it was based on where you went to college yep. on Twitter. Oh, and I looked down and said, it's Tyrus. <laughs> Terms it's of Endearment Tyrus. and Tyrus are the big names from Kearney, Nebraska. <laughs> Listen, I, I only know about the wrestling. I didn't know about the football. You played football and... Yep. I, I played ball there, and I graduated with my teaching degree there. You did? Yes, sir. Then you ran to make you know, real money at a real sport. Wrestling. Got my first teaching, che teaching check and said, yeah, this won't do. This won't do. <laughs> I need a belt. Yeah. I need a belt to go with this. All right, so Tyrus, we're, we're, we're going to do topics of the day, which we don't know what the topics are because we don't even know. Okay, so round robin, I got it. Yeah. All right, Tyrus, let's talk about the next generation not being ready for the real world. New numbers from Pew show just how much later is taking them to hit key life milestones. Since 1980, there has been a 25% drop in 21-year-olds having a full-time job and getting married. Um, we're also seeing a large drop in how many of them are financially independent, and now barely half of them have moved out of their parents' houses. So um, kids are growing up later, Tyrus. What impact do you think this has on the greater society as a whole? Uh, I know it has impacts on the parents. <laughs> I'm not thrilled about this stat. <laughs> I agree. I was out at 16. Like, come on, man. <laughs> but when you hear, like, 21, it doesn't even make sense. When you see, it's the education system. They, we're, they're not getting our kids prepared for independence. They're getting them prepared for social issues and safe places and all the things that would make you want to stay home longer. So unfortunately, we have to get back to brass tacks and basics and preparing our kids for a strong future, which means tougher parenting and we got to stop being friends and buddies. Otherwise, you're going to have a 30 year old still living at home, which is my worst fear. You got to <laughs> Again, you got to kick them out. You got to. You and you have to make them start working. I mean, I was running cartons of cigarettes through a tax stamp machine at, at my parents' warehouse when I was 12. She did what she had to do, Duff, okay? She is, she's... No, I'm serious. But there's but three the lessons that kids need to learn. That's loss, pain, and failure. Those yeah. are the best teachers, and that seems to be what everyone's trying to protect them from. Now, as a parent, you can guide them through that, but you can't walk it for them. And those are the lessons that lead to independence. Because you'll experience all those things in your life, right? And you might as well do that under the care of your parents. Experience it. Get through it. You're not going to die. You're not going to crumble. You make it through. What was it? What are the three? Pain. Pain. Failure. And loss. loss. And loss. And like my mom used to do this, and, and at the time I was six, seven, when she'd stop in a car fast, she'd put her hand out like this, and I'd be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but that was her mother's response, but she didn't do that in any other aspect. Like, you have to, you got to go through it. You know, they're not going to do it for you, and well, we have to get back to that. There's also this, well, I want to wait for the right job. No, no, that's... I, you know, I, I, I apply my own makeup really well. I'm going to be a professional makeup artist. It's not about that. It's about f figuring out your skills that you're, like, basic skills of, like, management. Do I work better with people or in, on my own? So go to, to that point, right? As a parent, you're going to be making up burgers at Arby's until that big makeup job comes along because yeah. you need a job, a jizzob, because <laughs> you got to pay rent and you got to pay bills here. You know, so go to Arby's and when the makeup comes, because my kids tell me all the time they're going to be actors, comedians and wrestlers. But in the meantime, you're going to do your homework and you're gonna, you're gonna do your chores in the backyard. And as parents, we can blame everybody else around us, but in the end, it's, it's the it's responsibility of the parent to make sure your child is ready to go into the world and get a job, get married, start a family, be productive, be responsible. My dad gave me $20 when I graduated from college. They paid for my education, it was cheap then. Gave me $20 and said, when you get married the first time, $20, elope, I don't wanna know about it. Right. And you know what? I was married 11 months. It was a good investment on his part. See? Daddy knew. All I know is Tyrus went through pain as a child and forced others to go through pain in the ring. There you go. How was that played? Was that a good That's play, nice. Cyrus? And then I got fired and experienced failure. See what I'm saying? Yes. It all comes together, <laughs> all comes and we're all here. Life. You're See? the best. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you. And it was uh, hard not to tell you. Because we... In the future. To, we did the, the take future. the show yeah. earlier. Gut fell tonight, by yep. the way. Yep. Check it out. Tyrus, thank you. All right. Hey, you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to go catch well. a flight. Go catch a flight. All right. Get out of here. Bye, friend.